Everyone talks about restricting and unlocking full power to their electric motors. But there's little information on restricting the top speed. I recently built this mini moto to meet legal requirements for use on the roads. To comply with the law, it must not go over 25 kilometers an hour. And if the controller you're using doesn't allow you to adjust max speed or power output, the only real option you have is to install a cycle analyst, and they can get expensive. But I found out that putting a 10k potentiometer in line with the positive throttle wire will do the exact same thing for as little as 50 cents. The pot acts as a variable resistor which limits the top speed of the throttle. I must give credit to Tommy Cat who produced this wiring diagram and in turn inspired this video. Just like the cycle analyst, you'll need to splice the pot in between the throttle positive wire, wiring pin 1 on the pot to the positive side going to the controller. Pin 2 on the pot is spliced into the positive side going to the throttle. A cutoff switch is recommended but not necessary as seen by SW1 on the diagram. This will be used as an emergency cutoff just in case anything bad was to happen. This is a slight redesign of the wiring that I went with, adding in a dip switch which bypasses the pot, giving me two modes to choose from. Starting with the screw on the pot fully out, start turning clockwise until the top speed of the motor starts to reduce. So let's set up this pot, but first we gotta test the top speed of this baby. 39, 42, 45. Yeah, it's quick. 45.86. Now what we're going to do, we do have a magic, magic, magic switch here, which limits the power. Now, if I get my trusty old screwdriver, now I want to increase this. So now when we get on the bike, oh my, <laughs> it's a bit too much. So we get our screwdriver. Okay, so I have another turnout. This looks like, yeah, we're going max speed again here. So, that was a full turn. I'm, I'm near the sweet spot now, I, I must say, I'm near the sweet spot. So, we'll reset that again. And I'm going to go half a turn clockwise. It was too fast, I turned the clockwise, let's see what happens now. That looks pretty good. Check behind us. And off we go. 18, 22, 23, 24, 24.6, 25.5. 25.7. So it looks like we're in the sweet spot here, right? So this is totally legal mental yeah it is what it is i really only wanted this setting for the sake of legality and then when you're done you just pop it back into full power mode and off you go and you start getting exceptionally fast now I must tuck away the switch, maybe make up a nice bracket for it, but I'm still going to test it out a bit more. If you are still a bit confused, I know wiring diagrams can be a bit confusing, so if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I'll try my best to answer it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like. And for more mini moto content, watch this previous video from the build, and hit subscribe to see more. I'll see you in the next one.